dosages we're going to use today. All right? So the good news is there's no statistics involved today because you're each going to have uh, a different dosage to worry about. We're not going to normalize it like we did in some of the other labs, so you're not going to have replicates to do statistical analysis on. This is kind of an individual deal to see which table is going to have the right dosage. Now, I don't know what that dosage is. Uh, sometimes it all depends on the specific NTUs of the starting uh, solution and your pipetting of the coagulant, the ferrochloride, as Dr. Thomas talked about today. You have to make sure we get the right volume of the coagulant into your solution, the mixing properties, and so forth. There's a lot of variables that, that are involved in these types of things. So, so you're each going to have an individual dosage, and you're going to come up with a bell curve. If you look over there on the, on the whiteboard, one of the questions on the lab report asks you then to draw this bell curve. So you're going to use the six different data points from your lab, today's lab, and plot them. Basically, this is your concentration of coagulant, the ferrochloride, against your NTU readings, which will be posted here like they always are, and I'll put them up on Blackboard and all that good stuff. But you'll have, you'll come up with a graph of some, it'd be nice if it was a bell uh, a uh, bathtub curve like this, but it may not be. There may be a couple of dips here and there. Once you get to the end, you may get a, a reverse reaction, and, and you may dip all the way down to here. Uh, your NTUs may be uh, real low. So anyway, once you get a curve of some sort, you have to figure out where the optimum point is uh, for the ferrochloride to serve as your coagulant to get your best flocculation and your best settling for this particular water that we have in the orange bucket. Okay? So get, get your data points today, get your optimum dose based on all six data points, and then use that optimum dose to what Dr. Thomas was talking about to calculate the alka alkalinity needed to react with this optimum dose, whether it's 40, 60, 80, I'm not sure what it's gonna be for you guys, but you know, you'll know. So use this optimum dose concentration Use the equation that uh, Dr. Thomas was going through. Calculate your alkalinity in calcium carbonate. Cal milligrams per liter of calcium carbonate is what the answer should be in the units, okay? So, as we always do, we're gonna calibrate these meters before we start. So, so go ahead and open your... 